flying out here with uh, Rick recording most of this on all sorts of uh, film. Uh, about this time, I thought uh, uh, that he should think twice about it, but Dale, go ahead and uh, describe. The, uh, Joe had done this on uh, flight day five and uh, had proven that the MMU and the Stinger concept for capturing the satellite uh, worked, in fact, worked perfectly. And, uh, and I essentially had just a lot of fun on flight day seven, knowing that uh, knowing it all worked there was took a big load off my mind. You can, I flew out a little bit differently than uh, Joe had. Uh, you might remember Joe commenting that the sun had bothered him. It was in his eyes during the last phase. And uh, you'll see here in a minute that uh, when the sun finally does come up, I was fortunate enough to use the orbiter's nose to, uh, to shadow the sun. So my approach to the satellite, uh, and you can see that the shadow of the nose of the orbiter now is on the satellite and on, and on me. And um, so my docking was, uh, was a little bit easier with that information that uh, Joe had given me from uh, the earlier EVA. MMUs uh, uh, perform flawlessly, as, as you heard us uh, talk about uh, from space. And uh, this, this me method of capturing the satellite uh, certainly worked well. And uh, uh, You can see the arm in the lower right corner of the picture, which was a position that Anna had put it in to assist in our station keeping task. Notice that the people who brought Notice that the people being task. Notice that Anna had put it in to assist in our station keeping task. Notice that the keeping task. Notice that the absence.